one of the ideas that sort of threads through the course is an idea about journeys. Um, not just the fact that um, our lives themselves and the stories of our lives um, can be compared to journeys, but also the project itself is a journey which brings very different people together in the same space to learn about each other's lives. We were really glad that we got to work with Sharon. We felt that we really connected with the way that she thinks and the way that she tells stories. Um, in the end, what we came up with was abstract and creative and quite surreal, but it also tells a really important story about the idea of not belonging and the struggle for knowledge and the comfort and escapism of fiction. Um, this became known to us as Sharon's Portable World. Our discussions with Sharon opened our eyes to a lot of things that, as uni students, we don't really think about. Um, in particular, um, being able to have books isn't always as easy as you think. Sharon told us one story in particular where, um, about having uncensored literature in Iran and um, it sold once a year at this big book market and um, you queue for hours and you pay a lot of money and she kind of found it shocking to then come to England and see these books on sale for 50p in Oxfam. But, um, we just hope that this film represents both ours and Sharon's experiences throughout the Story in Sheffield project. And that it doesn't just tell Sharon's story, but it's something that we can all relate to and learn Each time when I think about the form of my story, I always end up with a mental image, a map with holes and blank areas here and there. The map of my life is full of digressions, interruptions and loss. I always revisit this post-traumatic land, sift through the rubbles and look for any fragments left of my life. Objects, people, photographs and home. Yes, home, which is my biggest loss. I cannot regain the things I've lost, but the irony is that the pain that haunts me also guides me in life. Knowledge of the suffering is the magic inspired to recreate your story in a narrative room of your own. For me, the transformation of the pain into stories and poetry is the strategy of survival. The experience of loss is a shared map and a common language, a kind of passport that crosses all borders whether authorities like it or not. You will be misled by the interrupted maps unless you create them in your imagination with empathy. A complicated and painful pregnancy is a recurrent trope in my story. My arrival in Sheffield was accompanied with a dark period of depression which got worse with my pregnancy. Pregnant with a baby, with PhD and with depression. Not being able to move, to run away. Western Bank Library was a place of refuge and a home. Living in exile is a kind of lifelong pregnancy, physical, mental, and even linguistic. 
when your mother tongue becomes a shadow in the background. My home is unorthodox. It has an incredible capacity for self-deception. Every day it rotates the balcony and zooms in the sky to frame the image of the uncaring cloud. How oblivious is my home? How easily lost? Look at the map. From the river to the Gothic Tower, my brother's abandoned grave, and Mr. Montgomery's, my childhood memories. The sky, the cloud, the pigeons, the star in the corner of Washington Road, the bus stop, yesterday, tomorrow, all spin around in a nostalgic excursion in shadow, like an amateurish montage in a foreign film. Every day I see the forlorn life of a grey poster inside the lid to stop on the wall. His exposure too dim to impress the other passengers. He pretend to be busy with keys and covers, mirrors and mobile. My temporary destination is a desk, a view of the roundabout, and a printer in the background, whose existence I sometimes suppress, until it reminds me of the time and place, and it rains and rains, outside the fraternity of phenomenes and morphemes, and some unknown languages in the seminar room before, they hardly notice me. The residents and visitors of this floor, they are busy and satisfied, but sometimes not sure, and I stare at the rain and think about the next poster. Will it have the same lifeless gesture?
Should you come friend, don't mind the incongruity. Take your time, home has learned the lesson, it surrenders to the gravity. I did call on the 